up for sale, we have a 2010 Palomino Bronco camper. Slide in. Made in March 2010. Sitting on the deck of a 2006, I believe, Mid-Atlantic. 20 foot, 14,000 pound gooseneck trailer. Eight lug axles, 7,000 pound axles. Good tires, no dry rot. Underneath the trailer. The trailer was redone. Wiring, paint, collective tape. New lights everywhere. It's got pull out ramps, flip up dove. Uh, so it sits flat with the deck. So you have that extra space. You gotta do it 12 foot behind the camper. It's a pop-up camper. Keeps the weight low when you're traveling. Lets you raise up the roof. You've got a queen size bed up over the top over here. The trailer's got a fresh inspection. Coupler, chains. Just barely hooked on for now. I just pulled it up here to take a video of it. We've got plug going to the camper, coming from the trailer. Had another female plug. You can disconnect it if you need to, but that just basically means that the trailer lights and the camper lights work simultaneously. And the truck also charges the camper's 12 volt battery. New battery in here. Let's see if you can see the date code on it. I'm not sure if it's scratched off or not. Comes with the side boxes, um, torque lift, lever latches, holding it on, chains, side boxes for storage. Those are fastened to the trailer deck. You've got your brackets for mounting it in the bed of the truck. That's what you chose to do. They clamp over top of the bed rail. basically like this and then it gives you something to fasten the camper to focusing on the camper we've got our plug electric plug water tank fill port that's a 20 gallon tank I believe outdoor shower outdoor receptacles this is exhaust for the furnace. It's got a coax input, if anybody still uses that. This is our water heater. Just replaced the control valve. It works good now. The thermostat in it had gone bad in the old one. Then we've also got the fridge. It's on the back side of this. Fridge runs on gas, electric, 12 volt or 120 volt. Battery compartment. Scanning back to the back of the camper itself. Remade the door on it. Anybody that's familiar with them knows that these doors are made of next to nothing. Uh, that one is considered bear proof. It's three quarter treated plywood with laminate on both sides. You can see we got Tinted windows, windows up at the top, pop-up pop part. Another side box over here. Jack stands. I put those under the front of the trailer using eleven blocks. So that you can get it sitting flat. Being that it's a single jack, you can just put the jack stands at different levels and lower the jack. It allows the trailer to level out. This is a step, goes in the back of the truck with an extender so that if it is in the back of a pickup, you slide that right in the hitch, lines up perfect with the door, gives you easy access in and out. It's good to take it out for transport. It is kind of low to the ground. Um, got a little miniature step ladder with a handle made for it. A little bit easier access getting up and on and off the trailer. Going in the back door. 
we've got our top section that folds down, clamps onto the door. We've got a locking door with a deadbolt. Coming inside the camper, first when you come in, you notice that you have epoxy countertops done all through with a marble look. We've got a three burner gas stove. Light it with a match or a lighter. Towel backsplash. Towel. Sink. Hot and cold water. Electrical outlets. Thermostat. Coax. Got our furnace down here. It is an actual furnace. It's not a fireplace. So it has a heat exchanger. Uh, so it pushes all those exhaust gases outside. So it doesn't poison everybody inside, carbon monoxide. Scanning back to the back, we can see the back door. Get an idea where we're at with the fold up piece. Skylight for the shower. Got 12 volt lights up here. They will run, even if it's not hooked up to the truck, off of the battery. Um, they will also be charged by the inverter if it's plugged in. Uh, we got a curtain for our wet bath. Black epoxy countertop in here. Shower nozzle, hot and cold. Wet bath, anybody familiar with them knows that they're not huge, but they do their job. Small compartment underneath for storage of shower accessories. We've got a lagoon table. It mounts to the sidewall. It is adjustable. You can move it in, out, up, down. Um, stable enough to eat on. It, uh, it does fold down. It slides all the way down and sits level with the couch so that you can have an extra bed. Be a full-size bed right here. Take that cushion, put it down here, and you've got another full-size bed. Then we've got queen up on top got another skylight and we've got storage underneath as well. this is our brackets that go on our left arms keep the top from falling down on top of your head when you're sleeping paperwork this is the panel that would go in place of the table down here to put your extra mattress piece on to build your full bed. We've got extra storage in here. Kitchen accessories. Uh, 12 volt port. And we've also got overhead storage with more lights. And back on the side as well. Blacked out windows. Decent size fridge. With a freezer. And again, it runs on 12 volt AC or DC or gas. 12 volt DC, 120 volt AC, automatic or gas. And you can set your temperature level. More storage back here. Pull out drawers. Small hanging area. Coat rack. Fire extinguisher. Broom. This is an access panel um, to the side. The side box is in front of it right now, so it doesn't do much. You've got access panel at the front for your fresh water tank. We're about to winterize it. Uh, carbon dioxide detector in here. And you got another access panel back this way for the shower drain. Uh, it just has hinges on both sides. So you just take those screws out and you can get back into it. Typically don't have any reason to do any maintenance in there. Coming back to the back of the camper, closing the door. Walking around the passenger side, overview. We've got our sewer 
black water drain. So this valve is for the shower. This valve is for the black water tank. Just take your hose, run it right out the side, leave the door cracked. Works good. Uh, fuel tank, LP, with a cage. Stays mounted up in there. Leave it off for transport. I don't know how accurate these cages are. Seems like a bit of a gimmick, but they might work. Overview of the rest of the camper. Willing to separate, prefer to keep it as a package. It works really well together. You've got 12 foot of deck space on the back of the gooseneck, so you can put a side-by-side, -side, two four-wheelers, what have you. We used to go to Hatfield McCoy, West Virginia trips. It worked out perfect for that. Especially with the long ramps on the back, you can pull stuff up on there on the sides or on the back pretty easy. As you can hear, my son's in the garage, enjoying some of his toys. And that would be why we're looking to sell. Any questions, just please send me a message and I'll get back to you as fast as I can.